What's up, Goddess Gang? Today we are back with another video. And today we're going in with our 3XL squares. Um, I love these tips. They're full coverage. They're nice. They are soft gel extensions. They're from Amazon. You can find them on my Amazon storefront. My puppy is biting on something. Ethan, come here. I'm going to try to get his attention because he is distracting me. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're going in with our watercolor nail gel by Born Pretty. Um, I have lots of products by Born Pretty on this video today. We always we also have some features from Nail Reserve LA. We have some features from Madam Glam, needless to say. And if I'm not mistaken, that's everyone we used in today's video aside from SXC Cosmetics Extend Gel. However, these 3XL tips are from my Amazon storefront. They're like my all-time favorite since I started doing nails. They're the perfect length, and if you wanted to extend them, that wouldn't be too bad either. They would be a great start. They're very fitting to the nails, um, a natural fit to your natural nails, which is awesome because they do, they don't have like a, uh, what do they call that? I can't even remember, a deep C curve. They don't have a deep C curve, but they do have a pronounced C curve nevertheless, so I really enjoy that. I'm going to get my puppy, y'all, because I don't know what he chewing, but he distracting me. Okay, you guys, he was over chewing on a Madam Glam box from our video yesterday. How are you, handsome man? How you doing today? So I went in with the watercolor nail gel by Born Pretty, and then we're going in with this beautiful, luxurious, amazing jelly also by Born Pretty called JN29. I love this. One thing I love about Born Pretty... I don't know if they've always put the dates on the bottles, but I remember a while back ago, I really just wanted to have the assurance of knowing when my products were bottled because believe it or not, they do have a shelf life. So luckily, Born Pretty does let you know when this um, product was bottled. And this one was bottled on July 12, 2023. So it was essentially fresh. And more things I love about Born Pretty, for example, the fact that it's almost always a one-hit wonder with Born Pretty, meaning I lay the nail gel down, I get the coat, like, so this is the thing. Born Pretty nail gel is self-balancing or self-leveling, um, but the consistency is like, it's thick enough to where it's not droopy. So you never have to worry about it spilling over or making your nails bulky. But you can rest assured that if you use a generous layer that you will get an even application. I usually just let it sit for a little couple seconds or whatever after I'm done. And to see that on the regular gel polishes is one thing. But to also see it on the jelly gel polish, that's just like... Sheesh, you gotta watch out for them, right? Uh, I've used plenty of jellies before, but I believe that these are jellies that I would love to grab for again and again. They were very, very easy to use. You guys saw me use the pink one. Um, again, very easy to use. That one, I would like a darker one, so I might have to ask them, like, do you have a darker pink? Uh, so we could test out that one. I would like to see like a hot pink that would go very well with this color. Uh, opacity wise but yeah so so quick story time this one is a service animal and he usually goes everywhere with me but we've been home lately and he's not a homebody so he's been learning how to adapt to being home and I feel so bad for him because like it's tough being at home you know he's used to being out with other dogs and going out in public and encountering lots of people and places sounds and things and at home is pretty quiet and it's like super boring because there's nothing to do like i don't have a tv in my living room he doesn't even <laughs> he don't know how to tell alexa to play music so but yeah we have been keeping busy though he always is near me Last week I was working on sewing and he decided to be near me while I sewed, so that was nice. Um, he just slept, even though I still felt bad for him, but I got him out for his little walks and everything. And he doesn't mind taking a good nap, even when we are on the road. He's usually napping anyways, so puppy life, puppy life, hi Thorn. 
So anyways, here we are. I decided to do like a ombre or a fade. So as you can see, it's opposite from uh, some of them is from the top to the bottom and on the others, it's from the bottom to the top. The overall end result for this nail set was good, but I would totally do a recreation on this because I didn't execute it flawlessly. However, I'm super proud of this nail set that I created for theme four, the, um, what is it? futuristic fantasy i experimented with doing super tiny nail art like just drawing or writing super tiny to see if i could do it even with like oh crap my old busty dusty crusty <laughs> madam glam can y'all see this i don't know if you can i don't think you can hold on let me show y'all okay this thing oh hold on i didn't learn how to do it. okay you can see it a little this thing i don't use the heck out of it um and i know they have another one that's even finer but i did create super tiny nail art with that one so this is the ultra liner by madam glam they have the ultra fine liner that's the one i want all right so we're going in with our magnetic cat eye gel which this one i love i do love it however I don't know the I guess this one is a tricky one because it's the holographic one so it doesn't really have a base color so to speak it's just glitter and it's kind of in a clear base so I don't feel like it's at that quite quite that high of an advantage as a cat eye um, you know performance wise but with that being taken into consideration, the overall product performance for me was positive. You guys are going to see that basically I wanted to create a base color for the holographic cat eye. So that's what I did with the background. And then I went ahead to accentuate the holograph. So yeah, it turned out pretty nice. I was super happy and I liked it. Um, you can see that I don't really know what I'm doing, but I've also noticed that there's way better magnets than this this one. So I'm going to ask Born Pretty if I remember, like, can you send me a better magnet or some versatility? Because there's only so many things that you could do with this magnet in particular. But I have seen people use it from underneath as well to kind of create a design. I've never tried that. Also, I don't really know what kind, what level of thickness, like, should I add a thick, generous layer of polish in order to get a more refined result? I would assume the answer to that would be yes, but on this one, I wasn't looking for much refinement because overall, I'm almost sure that these were matted out, <laughs> so I knew kind of that that could happen at the end, so I didn't want to obsess over the cat eye. And I kept that in mind, as you can see. I played around on the first one, and then I was like, uh, no, we know what we're doing. Move on. So that's what I did. And sorry if this video is long, you guys. I tried to shorten it, but sometimes the videos start to look creepy if you speed them up too much because I'm already moving fast, and then when I speed it up, it's just like, and you're like, and I'm like, oh, I thought you stink. He be passing gas, y'all. Never get a puppy. They stink. You stink. I'll make sure I tell him when he stink. <laughs> Cause he know he be stinking. <laughs> I don't like boys. They're so annoying. But anyways, here we go. Um, yeah, so that's the boring pretty. I gotta think oh, did I tell you guys you can find I need to go on my Amazon storefront and put all the boring pretty stuff on there because I think they sell on Amazon. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna update my Amazon storefront, but these nail tips for sure are on there. I'm going to find one of these little nail stands because I highly recommend this one in particular. I have more than one. I have this one also, but I low-key hate it. Um, it's cute, but I don't know if I hate the stand. I just hate these because they're not that strong. I think it's these that I don't like because they have like, I know y'all can't see nothing, but they got a tiny magnet, whereas these, it looks like they got a tiny magnet in there too, but for some reason they really stick. I don't know why, but yeah, let's see, um, I'm doing that, kisses to him, kisses to him, all right, 
so i want to see what else i want to tell you guys while i have you on this video this is going to be like a chit chat but at some point i'm going to stop talking and just let y'all watch me create but one of the main things that i really want to talk about on this video was just about um just being gentle to yourself and gentle to others um i want to use this video as a chit chat because it is like this is a relationship set like it's inspired inspired by my boyfriend and me so um you know quote unquote opposites attract he's a pisces and i'm a scorpio i'll sting his ass and he'll die <laughs> no <laughs> I'm just teasing y'all. Hold on, I'm about to drink some water. I'm about to drink me some water. So anyways, we got Goddess in the Cut by Nail Reserve LA. You all can save on your Nail Reserve LA products. You can save on your Madam Glam products. You can save on your Born Pretty products. I got discount codes for all of them. You can save on Amazon somehow. I don't know. Well, actually on Amazon, I don't know if you save. Well, on um on a I think on the 11th they have prime day I would talk to y'all about that but I'm just gonna act like a good ambassador and I'm be like shop on prime day uh go on my storefront and get your discounts but realistically shop there any day typically it's better to shop there on a normal day than a special day in my opinion um but we ain't gonna go there uh and yeah I do earn commissions I've never earned commissions from Amazon before I've honestly the whole time I've been on YouTube brand ambassadors all that i've never earned a check mm -mm, but i'm really close i'm really close and also going to be working on some sponsors some sponsorships and just um more so allowing people to utilize me as exposure instead of me utilizing them as exposure um so yeah this um uh, more back to being gentle to ourselves and others um well, one, I just want everyone to know my life's not perfect, and I'm not perfect. And that was, like, the culprit of me committing to my DIY nail art journey. We're going to go in on these ones with this watercolor nail gel, which I'm low-key obsessed if you haven't been able to tell. I've been using the heck out of this thing. It's everything. I have used the Bloom and Gel before, I feel, but I wasn't obsessed with it. This... I really F with. I really do. I just want to learn how to make it myself. I'm going to have to go and figure it out. But for now, I really like this. There has to be some kind of... I would assume it would be base coat gel mixed with like a slight bit of alcohol or something. I don't know. It's just my hypothesis. But it can get a little bulky, so be sure to wipe it. Be sure to wipe it. So anyways, um, my life's not perfect. That was the whole culprit of me committing to nail art. Um, I am an artist, and I've also always been obsessed with nail polish and doing my own nails. Um, and then during the pandemic, I committed to it. Obviously, you guys know I have a special announcement. I was followed by Femi. I know it sounds like, girl, bye, but ah, so exciting. And she was my inspo. And, and I knew that she was in it for five years when I discovered her. And I was like, could you imagine not being there all that time? Um, but <clears throat> it's a journey for sure. And it's something that you have to commit to, I feel. Um, every day I have to look. So on this set, for some reason, my, oh, you know what it was. My nail lamp was dying. <laughs> That was, if you ever see your nails come out like that and you're like, what the heck? I know I didn't do anything wrong. Check your nail lamp. It could be on the verge of death <laughs> because um, I was like, what the heck? And then I went to put it in again and the nail lamp didn't turn on. I'm like, okay, that makes more sense now. So that was a bummer. And I would say, I would like to probably just start to check my lamp at the beginning of each session to make sure that it's charged so yesterday when i was going to use my lamp i did that and i was very proud of myself so anyways um yeah so you have to commit every day when i work i have to work in order to be here you know if this is something that's important to me um there's a lot of ways to get ahead in life and 
I would say after being gentle with yourself, just be honest with yourself. Don't start to cap (laughs) because there's too many people that are what I like to say. They capping, they clout chasing, they on they riding the wave, the clout chase, the clout chasing uh, movement. That's what I call them. They on the clout chasing wave. And that's not sustainable. And the only way that you can be a true role model or influencer to others is to be one to yourself and to the people that are most especially close to you. Um, And that is the greatest challenge. Like, for me, that's what I say. When I say I'm not perfect, I mean, like, y'all might look at me and be like, oh, she's so perfect. Girl, bye. (laughs) Girl, bye. But there are people who will air out their imperfections at the same time, and they kind of use it as like, well, you have different people. You have people who use it as a source of inspiration to give people's insight on them and inspire them. And then you have, you know, people who use it as a way to manipulate, to get a certain reaction. on. So in other words, like I said, the commitment to the journey is a real commitment because like this stuff is irrelevant to some people but when you're on the journey and you're committed you'll know what I'm talking about so um and then that's gonna tie into again being honest with yourself and also after that I would say to don't sell yourself short um you know I started to be honest with myself and grow and evolve and then there's levels and so at every level just like on a video game you're gonna have to get past the bad guy and you don't ever want to think that those bad guys are really bad guys a lot of times they probably portray themselves as good guys hi you ready to get down oh but you was being a bad boy you was getting into trouble you was making no kind of noise when mom was working. Um, okay, I'll let you go. I love you. Bye. <clears throat> so, and I don't, I don't believe in bad guys per se, but I do believe in being honest with myself. And, um, I really... So that's where you have to be true to yourself. Like I've set standards for who I am, what I, what what my purpose is, what I'm living by, and every day there's going to be obstacles. They're going to be like, okay, so do you still want to choose that, or do you want to go this way instead? I'm still choosing that. Like I don't give a damn about all that other stuff. I'm still choosing that because that's my commitment. That's my commitment to my journey. That's commitment to myself. Commitment to my purpose. Commitment to my cause. <clears throat> So for a while, I did have to take some time back to recenter myself because um, as you further yourself along the journey, you want to intertwine yourself with other people along the journey. And where am I coming? Oh, it's right here. And that's where I also have to, well, I have learned again from Femi, for example, and other people too. I'm not going to name any names, but I have seen people who are in the industry, DIY, um, self, like they are self-invested, like they're invested into everything on themselves. Um, They don't have investors, they don't have capital, their capital is out of their pocket and things like that. And they they give their best and the people in the industry ride with them for the convenience of the time being when those companies and those people those brands those names get where they need to go and they be like swerve and then that person has to fall back on whatever they built for themselves Um, we've seen it time and time again I mean I have very vivid examples of it that are actually too close you know Um, And then you run into like a smaller scale of that would be, for example, when you do giveaways and there's um, people who make like fake accounts and then they have people, you know, they follow your followers and they're telling them, oh, here's the blah, 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 la, 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 this, this, that, and the third. And they ruin your giveaways or, you know, they make people scared to participate or worried about whether or not stuff is legit all those are obstacles that when you're putting your heart into it and then that happens you're like because it's like bruh what for like what for 
I know it seems vulgar, but I'm just being real with y'all when I tell y'all I'm not perfect. So don't go towards anyone and, you know, one, try to attack what they've worked hard for because those attacks are um and the longevity they 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 come back karma is real you know don't try to take away from you know what someone has put their whole heart blood sweat and tears into um for your own self advantage um things like that so on the back end, this job is hard, and it doesn't pay well. Like, when you get there, yeah, you profit, but do you know how, what you have to go through in order to get there and also what you have to sacrifice because a lot of times you involve yourself innocently. Um, I remember when I did a giveaway, I kind of gave up on doing giveaways. I gave up on a lot after that because I was just like, oh, my gosh, like, this is not real. It was a simple little I don't want to say stupid, but it w it couldn't have been that big of a deal because it wasn't. It was like a Madam Glam mini or something. <laughs> I was doing like a Madam Glam. It was last fall. It was probably like a year ago now. And someone DM me. They're like, oh, my gosh, girl. Um, I just got a DM from someone saying that they were you and that I just won. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And then I had to go on there. And I was at my kid's sports game. And, like, it was, like, stressful. It was not what I wanted to deal with. And the hurtful part was to know that someone had that on their agenda to do that. I just didn't understand why anyone would behave that way. Um, I was just doing something nice. Like, you know, you just do this stuff. You have to work. You have to work. This is not easy. Anyone who portrays it to be easy, a lot of times that's because that's the devil. I'm not going to hold y'all up. Um, I'm not going to get too political or philosophical, but... Everything that glitters is not gold. Understand that. You may see someone that has more than you, but they may have their journey cut short. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're having that for that time being, yes, because this is the devil's world. And they're being enabled to lead so many people astray. The quicker, the better for them, right? And then because that's the devil's world. Um, don't be led astray by that. Don't you know persevere and that's where I just wanted to talk to you guys and tell you to be kind to yourself love yourself and you know don't fall victim to the clout chasing movement and don't fall victim to hurting other people to get ahead um or being hurt in order for other people to get ahead and that's the next point that I wanted to make is I had before the nail art challenge I had taken like a long time off because I was working on a lot and I was making a lot of progress. And one reason I was able to kind of get back into my headspace was because of one of my supporters that was very supportive. And then I was like, well, this person is like a positive vibe for me I feel so why don't I invite them to be my friends so then I gave them my phone number and we became friends and it was like I I don't want to say it was a source of dependency needless to say but it was it was something that I was excited to enjoy having a friend with someone who was a DIY nail girl who was obviously um able to get ahead because of our affiliations and who was also able to help me stay on my shit because of the consistent support and because of the recognition and because of the kind words and things like that. Um, so then we ended up working together for a short time, but that did not work out well. <laughs> it worked out well for me, but for them, I guess it didn't. And um, that didn't work out well for me then at the end because it was something that I was invested into. I don't move from any place other than my heart and my life. Um, everything I do is with love and peace and joy, all the fruits of the spirit, basically. Um, but I learned a great lesson because the thing about it is that when you're on this journey and you're just going with it, that's what you're doing. You're going with it. But then there comes a time where you come into one of those 
bad guys who you may not have even guessed was a bad guy and they really like make you re-recognize who you are and what you're in this for and everything and it's just because they attack you you know what I'm saying and so I'm not saying that that person attacked me but their lack of love their lack of heart their lack of um what I would say would be kindness overall. Kindness is something that you extend from your heart. It's not um, something that you choose to give based off of someone's actions or reactions towards you. So in other words, I thought that I was being met with someone who was like me, but I realized that we did have things in common, but overall who we were at our core are different. And I can understand that because um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick story time this is an old story too but there was these two girls that would come to get their nails done and one time one of the girls came and she's like that her and the other girl got into this big old deal and I'm like why like what the fuck and it was because the girl had her sibling and then she had her friend and she chose her sibling over her friend so the thing is her friend was like well that just don't make no sense to me and then the girl was like, well, that just don't make no sense to me. <laughs> and the sister was like, that just don't make no sense to me. And I'm like, y'all don't make no sense to me. But the point is, people are who they are and you can't change them. And the sister relationship was stronger than the friend relationship. And um, that goes back to when they were born. <laughs> you can't, what you gonna do, change who they are from the day they was born? No, that's... So what I realized is that it would be better for me to make friends with or to be associated with people who are loners like me or who maybe just are misunderstood or underappreciated or in their own fucking bubble, um, self-motivated, and I guess maybe even a little self-absorbed um, because honestly, I say self-absorbed with the greatest intention me being self-absorbed, I can't, even if I do something wrong, I'm going to go back and be like, I did something wrong because that's how self-absorbed I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm self-absorbed enough to do something stupid and then to go back and be like, that was stupid. Like, I'm a human. Um, and uh, the more that you meet people who have financial freedom and who have wealth, you will see how lonely they are and their money doesn't mean anything to them because they just want people to understand them. They just want people to relate to them. They just want people to empathize with them. Um, a lot of like people may say that insanity is like a sign of wealth realistically because a lot of wealthy people you could argue are insane, like quote unquote insane. Uh, and that's just to say that they're very passionate and they are very grounded in their beliefs. And that typically comes from experience through sacrifice, um, going through experiences that you had no control over and persevering and achieving your desired outcome without help, without empathy, without a handout, with nothing realistically. And with that, that's why you can have the cockiness to say, I don't need you, like, have a good life. Um, but because you are humble and you know how it is to be alone and to suffer by yourself, then you are meek enough to say, there's no reason why we should have to go through this. There's no reason why this um, disagreement should be this out of control or this misunderstanding. There's no reason why we can't agree to disagree. Um, things like that. So that's basically my next point is um, just understanding your worth and also not settling. There's going to be people in life that are not going to be willing to be optimistic towards you. They're not going to be willing to be forgiving towards you. Um, but that shows me that they're not optimistic towards themselves and they're not forgiving towards themselves. And I'm not going to become anyone's um, pit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not happy with yourself, that's a personal problem. All I'm here to do is be the best version of myself. And if the best version of myself today is better than the best version of myself yesterday, I'm at peace. And if anyone can accept that, then we can fuck with each other. And if anyone cannot accept that, I don't have a place for you in my life because 
I wish you well. Like, so, um, overall, <clears throat> this journey is not easy and I don't want any envy or, um, anyone to misunderstand the culprit of why I'm here. Um, life is short and I think I hate to bring it up, but it's on the tip of my tongue. RIP to Tupac and God bless him. You know, the true heart there was not received and for people to run around calling themselves love, <laughs> That's not love. That's not love. That's not love. And if you have to self-entitle yourself love in order to really harness that essence, I think you need to go look inside. You need to look inside. And um, I feel like I also empathize with people so much that I will be like, okay, did you have enough time to go look inside? Now, can we pick up where we left off? And so... Unfortunately, some people don't know how to do that either, um, which, again, going back to this interaction with these girls from before, you know, like a whole year passed and they still had a conflict. And I was just like, do you know how much stuff happens in a year? Well, I've seen the stuff that happens in a year. And I'm just telling y'all that you don't want to be getting enabled or disabled by someone or someone's in this world who cannot truly one be loving towards themselves two be honest with themselves and three be kind to others and four set the standard in their lives that they deserve for themselves without feeling guilty um don't fall victim to those obstacles, those people. I like to call them zombies. <laughs> I like to call them zombies. I should make a zombies nail set. That's I'm going to do that. Hold on, wait. Let me write that down. There. Zombies. Y'all going to see it. Okay. Maybe we should do a zombies challenge. That would be fun. Who can create the um, scariest zombies? But no, literally... Um, they are, and I'm not doing that, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the stuff that kind of has been, like, evolving me to who I am because I don't want anyone to envy me. I would rather you guys have a little bit of personal insight as to who I am and what inspires me and what kind of setbacks that I endure. So, essentially, I have worked with that person, and we did have a lot of projects lined up and I put in my everything I don't know if that person can say that and I don't care but um not a, on no hostile stuff but on some it's not a competition type stuff because like everyone's best is their own best and I gave my personal best even if I had a weak moment or even if I um was rude <laughs> I'd be rude sometimes y'all um, or if I had like reacted out of like frustration in the moment over passion. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to guarantee anyone that I can be at my best every day, especially when I be tired from working. <laughs> and that's usually the one time that I really get like mad, I can say, is when anything interferes with my work. I don't have a passion towards a lot of things that are like in relationships I don't have a passion towards like I don't have expectations of people in professional relationships I do mm. personally well so I guess that um if I did have an expectation of someone it would just be simple love and respect and kindness fruits of the spirit because I think that if you have a disagreement with someone it can easily be resolved through again fruits of the spirit um, communication and love and just value like I value our friendship I value our relationships together I um or our projects together things like that I don't want to you know personally 
move forward in a different direction after we had these plans together. That's just, that's, that's, that's why I said, don't lie to yourself. Be honest with yourself because when you're honest with yourself, you can say things like that and it just rolls off your tongue. It doesn't feel awkward. It doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel confusing. It's just being a normal person. And the messed up part (laughs) is that a lot of times when these people choose, for example, their family and their friendships that are from their childhood and their relationships that they've known all their life and they're not able to go outside of that um, and, and grow culturally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, all of that, um, they all lie to each other. They all lie to each other. So like, that's why I said, you got to be honest with yourself. Someone who's miserable with their life, misery loves company. They're not going to mind going and talking trash about the next person with you because They like to see that out of you. They like to see that. When you talk trash about the next person, that makes them feel comfortable because they want to have someone to talk trash about the next person with because misery loves company. It's the people that push you away and say separation, elevation requires separation. Look at this now, say y'all. It's coming along and I'm going to end up doing a Scorpio on the middle finger and wish me luck, y'all. Wish me luck. It was a little nerve wracking. I used the reference, but it came out nice. Um, Oh, but by the way, I went on there and did the little method that I had done previously on that now, too, because I needed a canvas. So I didn't want to make y'all watch that again. But so misery loves company. Those people are going to tell you what you want to hear. They don't want to see you grow. Um, going back to examples of this, that I've seen time and time again. And this is why I'm telling y'all, please don't envy me or be jealous of me or think that life is perfect for me because I have without saying names or giving examples. There was this girl. Um, specific example there was this girl and she was working on a project with someone who happened to be me and it was a badass project and we was doing our damn thing and then her family started to attack her and they didn't support her and it was just like she's not even doing anything (laughs) she's talking she's having an interaction with someone and unfortunately I haven't heard from that person in a while because those people as much as we may like to be in denial, they have a strong impact on us um, when we give them leverage in our lives. And that's why I'm a very lonely person. And that's what I want y'all to understand about me. I don't have a support system personally. I don't have um, like anyone here physically. I have who you all have seen me with physically. Anyone that y'all have seen me with or heard me talk about in my videos, that's it. That's all there is. There's nothing else. That's why y'all don't hear about it. Y'all don't see it. Um, It doesn't exist, realistically. Um, And I'm, I'm happy. That's the thing. So when I go everywhere that I'm going, I get to go with the people that I'm with now. And it's not a lot of people. And that's another thing is... So then when you move forward and you're going to go places and you're going to meet new people, um, they're all going to have their own customs, their own culture and things like that. You just have to kind of self-preserve yourself um, or be reserved within yourself, uh, not to be just too accepting and too open of people um, personally, uh, as far as allowing them to benefit from you in ways that other people wouldn't normally or associate themselves with your name and things like that because I mean if they're going to be fake AF at the end (laughs) you got to preserve self-preservation boo like I'm sorry Uh uh-uh I'd rather be alone and get where I'm going by myself a perfect example of this is combat gel girl combat gel girl y'all know who that is if y'all don't go google it uh, go youtube it y'all know who she is this girl got so popular with her husband and so famous and like it was just playfulness but i can say that behind the scenes you don't know what happens in people's lives and she probably was really testing him like because she made a come up and she was probably happy for herself and that's the thing. That's why I want to come up by myself because when you come up with someone, you want them to be happy for you too. Be- your journey and their journey are two different journeys. So like your happiness and their happiness are going to be at two different levels because they don't know what you went through to get where you got. See, so someone who comes over to me and clout chases off of me, bitch, 
you don't even know what I went through to get that. So listen, one, don't clout chase off me. Clout chasing is when you go and you be riding on someone's wave and then you just jump off when the fucking wave hits the fucking land and you fucking hit face first on a fucking rock. Bitch, that's part of riding a wave. If you don't want to ride the wave, don't. Don't. Also, don't be clout chasing though. Don't be clout chasing, you know. I'm real confrontational about stuff like that because my kids ride the wave with me and we hit the rocks together. My pets, they ride the wave with me and we hit the rocks together. My lover rocks together. So anyone who wants to come and benefit from my fucking pain, <laughs> my sacrifice, hit them rocks with me moving forward. We don't, you don't have to go back and hit all those other rocks with me from before. We don't have to do that. That's the benefit. You didn't have to hit those rocks that I hit to get where you got, when you got there, how you got there. You had the benefit of having a ride, a wave to ride. But when the future rocks come up and we hit them, we're supposed to be hitting them rocks together. Um, so on a heart-to-heart -heart moment, I could say that I was genuinely hurt by that situation. And one, because it's public. It's public. This is my name. This is my brand. This is my hard work. This is my life and my dedication. But two, because that was my personal life. And I don't have that no more. So it's sad. You know, it's sad. But you live and you learn. And these are obstacles that we have to overcome and order bad guys that we have to beat, <laughs> so to speak, in order to... Um, to get to the next phase and so now we have the goddess gang now our challenge and i honestly feel like i would not have been able to be here without that experience because it strengthened me and that's what true love is that's what the opposite of clout chasing is is that you um you rise together you ride together you rise together and ultimately you die together um, and maybe I'll have friendships like that in the future, but I guess I'm not really ready for that yet. And I'm okay with that. That was kind of where I drew the line in the situation to begin with was that I just didn't want to get too invested into something personal when I need to focus all of my energy into my professional life. Um, and so here we are. How do y'all like my Scorpio? How do y'all like my scorpion? How do y'all like my scorpion? I think it's looking good. Um, I didn't keep the clip in where I tried to make it have eyes. That was really silly. But I, I did that. But then what I realized is that I think they have like two little tiny pointers right here on the mouth part. And I didn't do those. So it kind of looked a little weird. But it's okay. I think overall, I really did really good. What my suggestion is when you're doing nail art like this is just trust yourself. Also, perception, um, size perception. So... I sometimes will be super ready to create the perfect nail art that's from a inspo photo that I just have on my phone. And then I will either make it too big or too small. So I kind of try to set back and visualize on the actual nail. Like, Samantha, what size do you need this to be on the nail? Because if you go in and you start doing it and then you're like, oh, crap, it's too big. Then So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I kind of just start just pick one area to start like one point to start at and then just build around that point and just try to keep size into perspective size into perspective that's the main thing that i could suggest i'm gonna take a quick break you guys my puppy he is hungry <laughs> so i'm gonna go and feed him and i'm gonna let you guys watch this and i will be right 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 I just got to see which one I got to turn off. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'll be right back, y'all.
Okay, guys, so I'm back or whatever. And I'm going in with this Rudolph on the red parts because I wanted to add extra flair. I didn't want the nail to be flat. I thought it was so beautiful. And how did you guys think that that nail reserve, what is it, the velvet, whatever the heck it was, Velvet Sunset, I think it is. Oh my gosh, one of my all-time favorites from Now Reserve LA. And how did you guys think that it did adding shadows onto my scorpion? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Anyways, I gotta stop talking about it. My Scorpio, my scorpion. Did I say it was a Scorpio earlier? I'm so stupid. It's a scorpion. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know if I said it backwards or not, but anyways. I got my puppy some yogurt and I got me some too what i got you some yogurt and i got me some too i can't tell them that he don't want y'all know his business he is very private get up here come here i think you slacking off you need to be up here working oh i think he's mad because he wants a duck jerky you didn't go pee pee you only get a jerky when you go pee pee. I'm gonna try to get him a jerky. Antonio, come and get Alton a jerky, please. Quick. Get Alton a jerky real quick, please. Thank you. Oh, so he's got his jerky. He looks happy now. He happy? He definitely happy. Okay. So I went in on these ones with the mat and I thought it just brought them so much more beauty. And then of course I added on a little bling bling. Every time I come around your city, bling bling. So yeah, I really like this. I think I might be challenging myself to do some smoky nails soon because there should be no reason why I can't use this to create some of the smoky nails. And you guys say that uh, you guys have been using Bloomin' Gel to create those. So I'm going to challenge myself. And that's what I love about this nail heart challenge. You guys, we still got a whole nother set. <laughs> But that's what I really love about this nail art challenge. This one's actually way simpler, so don't fret. It's going to be fast. Um, is that I learn stuff from you guys, and that's super inspiring. And that's why I wanted to start to film the nail sets that I create so that you guys can see how I create them in case you're interested and you guys want to learn from me. <clears throat> so, yeah. Thanks for being here for my little chit chat. I wanted to give all of my loyal subscribers and followers um, a little bit of background as to kind of where I have been and what's been happening. And, <clears throat> and also just finally talk about that situation that was lingering because it's definitely a little awkward and um, definitely wish things had come had a different outcome but they didn't and now that everything is kind of settled i wanted to just look at that freaking slay i'm just slaying this shit slay sissy slay one thing that i think that everyone has to know is you gotta let the paint and the brush do the work um like i don't know if you guys see but i will drag the line down some but I go back for more paint and I'm letting the paint refine the lines for me more. Like you see how that paint is just falling off the brush. So there's a certain kind of like pressure that you have or like a certain angle that you use where the paint kind of just starts to fall straight off the bristles. And when it does that, you can kind of drag it and make these wonderful, amazing, perfect lines. Um, but you can't do that with every brand of gel polish. So that's why Nail Reserve LA is one of my top favorites because they are so reliable when it comes to that 
For example, Madame Glam, not so much. With Madame Glam, it's better to use it as a regular nail polish. It's better to use it as your background color. There are certain polishes that um, they have like special effects like glitter or holographics. Those ones, yes, but the solid colors don't recommend them for nail art and so that's why on your shows you will see different brands that you have favorited for different reasons um, a lot of times someone may have a certain product and they may think that they suck at nail art i used to try to use rosalyn to i didn't let me backtrack i tried to use rosalyn once on a nail art set and it was only that one time that it took me and I think I did it again as a challenge and I was still kind of like and then um I did create some nails using Rosalind again in the future but when I did that I did not use them for the fine details I used them for the background because Rosalind gel polish kind of sets and like it doesn't stay like it doesn't stay it's I don't know how to describe it it's I don't want to say it's runny but it just doesn't stay <laughs> so you may think you don't do good at your nail art or that it's not working well for you or you're not doing a good job but it's just the products so um also I think I'm going to end up giving away some Nail Reserve LA um, gel polishes. I'm going to update everything for the next challenge um, be, and for the future ones because I definitely want you guys to be able to experience what I'm talking about. And I also would like to have you guys' feedback. And a lot of the guys, or a lot of the girls that are winning, a lot of you guys that are winning, um, you all are really into nail art this is the nail art challenge so you guys are the perfect people for me to gift these products to um as opposed to like a general public that would be more ideal for like a general gel polish specifically since you guys are very much into nail art i think i really want to focus on gifting you guys with the products that I believe are going to be best for you to create beautiful nail art so for example the madame glam pens um, anything from Born Pretty and then also Nail Reserve LA. So those are going to be some of the gifts that I'm going to be focusing on getting you guys. Also, I believe like we're going to have some donations. So and if you guys want to donate, you can. So if you want to donate gifts, um, prizes and things like that, you can. But I'm not really set in stone about that stuff yet. So I don't want to talk about it a lot. We'll discuss details later um uh, let me think if there's anything else i want to tell you guys thank you guys so much if you're still watching this video go ahead and drop a big old hibiscus flower in the comments down below in the comments down below and then i might have to see who be really watching these videos so be sure to drop the hibiscus if you're still watching don't be shy I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys like my intro or should I change it? Because I love my intro and I don't want to change it. And I was asking myself the other day, I'm like, are you ever going to change it? Because like, I really love this intro. It's just, it's just, it's not really, I feel like I could have, okay, so I don't know. I don't know. It's just not that professional and I feel like it doesn't really like serve that much purpose not very impacting but i just love it so much because it's so cute it's such a vibe and i kind of thought maybe i could just keep it like for a while it's like my thing but i wanted to know what you guys think because i just can't decide i love my intro though it's just so awesome now this is where this nail set for me comes alive like this right here just watch just watch like what are, what are we watching you're just adding the same color i'm building a base okay this is the watercolor that thing is obsessive y'all i couldn't get enough of it yeah 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 how do you guys like this nail set so far how did you guys like the end result actually since you've already seen it 
I'm so obsessed. Um, so I wanted to start posting on my blog again, actual blog posts. I haven't done that in so long that I forgot that I'm supposed to. And that was kind of like what really made me so mad. I was just doing so good for myself. And then I just got so led astray by conflict that didn't even need to exist. And I think that's like the devil's top go to. Like he just creates conflict because when there's conflict, there becomes confusion. And when there's when you mix that with people who have insecurities or people who are envious or any negative trait, it just, it in your brain, it kind of, those thoughts like permeate your brain. And then you, and that's what confusion is. It's when you're like confused. You're, you perceive yourself as a victim when no one's attacking you or you don't see the opportunity cost of resolving conflict and things. So I kind of got trapped by the devil. <laughs> For some reason, right this second, I'm having deja vu. It's so insane because it's only one time that I've ever dreamt about nails, like realistically in my dreams. And this is the moment. Yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I'm just I kind of am at a point in my life where I'm not compromising my worth anymore. And I feel like that's what makes it easier to not be envious and to not have negative feelings towards others is to recognize your worth. Like there's someone near you, obviously, that's making you feel less than yourself or something. And you're projecting that onto someone else that doesn't even believe in that stuff or even perceive life that way. They're an innocent soul. Um, that's unfortunate. So that's where I kind of had to draw the line. It's like, I am an innocent soul. I mean, well, I do well, I do well, well, well more than the general person would ever do for anybody. Um, in the grand scheme of things for everyone I know. And there have been other experiences that have been more personal that have not been related to that, that have kind of really gotten me to be like, okay, you really cannot compromise on your worth because unfortunately people take niceness for ki kindness for weakness. That's what they say, kindness for weakness, or they'll take your niceness for granted. And, and I started to observe like as an adult in real time, how that stuff works in the real world where you have to protect your children and you know yourself because no one's going to protect you mm, I just realized that one way that you can avoid conflict and confusion is to not end up near those people or in those situations to begin with and that's where you have to recognize your self-worth and you have to have standards and that's where I said I'm thankful that those things happen because they taught me valuable lessons um I see why rich people are so mean. That was one thing, like, I used to live in Orlando, and there's a lot of rich people there, obviously, and um, they were so cutthroat. They didn't have hearts, and I was like, I hate this. This is like a doggy dog world, but when you consider what they had to go through to get there and the sacrifices that they had to make and the lack of opportunity that they were faced with and the hardships along the way that got the best of them and the grand scheme of things, the reality of life as an adult, then you understand like they're guarding their heart as bad as it may seem because there is a devil of this world and that devil of this world, his form of food is money. And these people, they all move in his favor when it comes to money a lot of times. And and then there's scavengers who want money. You know what I'm saying? They're willing to do anything for money. Um, and then those people make it hard for the people who value money and who want to actually utilize it for things that are good and so on and so forth. And so it's overall an ecosystem of life. And um, I just decided that I kind of wanted to remove myself from that ecosystem and 
learn more about myself and my purpose on this planet and I don't think that in order to fulfill my destiny that I need to resort to for lack of better ways to put it friendships <laughs> um I kind of just need to recognize who I am as a leader and as a follower and wait until I get where I'm going, where I can be in a room filled with people who can relate to me personally and who I can see face to face and understand that our intentions are the same and that we're moving together. Uh, so those are kind of some of my goals as far as moving forward when it comes to relationships or friendships, business prospects and stuff like that. Um, I'm just learning how to do everything on my own and also being at peace doing things on my own and learning how to master doing things on my own. And yeah, it's a journey, you guys, but thankfully I have everyone's support and continued support. And we have this new project that we're working on. So I'm in great spirits. Um, I know the tone of this video is more or less like kind of mm, serious, but I'm really just in great spirits. I'm happy. I'm just thankful to finally kind of open up a little and talk about some of that stuff. And I'm also regretful that I have to. I wish that things were different. Um, but in a way, I kind of don't because... I'm tired of being trapped in relationships or not like necessarily romantic relationships, but relationships or interactions, associations with people who are heartless and also kind of super tired of like encountering people who pers like, so one of the greatest signs of someone who's going to like do things that are going to hurt you in the future is like, when they just make it seem like, oh, you're so perfect to them, like, oh, wow, I love this about you, and I love that about you, and you're so this, and you're so that, the reality is that they envy those things about you, and they want to kind of harness your abilities, and then they want to kind of, like, put you in the dust, and I'm not talking about that specific experience or that specific person at all, but I'm saying in life, and so now that I have recognized that, I kind of look at those experiences differently, and I'm like, it's a doggy dog world. I'm not going to be in denial about that. I'm going to get the hell out of the way. <laughs> Go eat the next person. Just don't eat me. So, yeah. Um, you guys can DM me or drop comments and let me know your perspective. Or, like, if you understand where I'm coming from. If you can relate. Sometimes when I talk about personal things, I try not to really be too specific. Or, like, really harness the feelings. Because that's not my purpose on this earth and that's not my purpose on this journey um but I still like to let you guys know that I'm human and that I go through things too um how I cope with them or how I overcome them may be um it may be outstanding you know it has to be outstanding if there's people who hate on me or people who envy me or people who want what I have and you know stuff like that you don't want to be that person like you don't want to want what the next person has what do you want you know what I'm saying what what's important to you because you don't really know what the next person has to go through in order to have what they have and to be where they are um it took weeks for me to pull myself back up out of the situation that I had put myself into not even knowing what I was doing and having the best intentions for myself and having the best um, perspective towards others and being optimistic and positive minded and things like that I thought I was doing everything right um, it's very hurtful for people to know your weaknesses and to play into them and then to play the victim afterwards so those are for example things that I won't tolerate in my life um, and that I, I'm thankful to grow from and to overcome. Um, and that's the thing, like, sometimes our greatest lessons are our greatest sacrifices. And um, that's why I don't want people to envy me or to think that life is made out for me, because I don't want y'all to have to 
go through the sacrifices I have gone through in order to get where I am. If we could all love each other and um, be kind to each other, be kind to ourselves, be loving to ourselves, be honest with one another, honest with um, ourselves and things like that, we don't really even have to go through that process. There's people who sacrifice every day so that we can have positive lives, positive interactions, positive experiences, and we can overcome those obstacles without even having to come in contact with them. I, I would have really appreciated if I grew up with parents who overcame obstacles and I never had to even know that they existed. That's what I do everything every day for my kids. That's what I do every day for people who look up to me as an influencer, believe it or not. Um, and so I just want to inspire you guys to do that too. And just please do not send negative vibes my way. Um, do not be hateful towards me. Um, and I'm not saying that anyone is, but I'm saying sometimes when you have the best heart, the slightest thing could truly hurt you. Uh, some people may have a high tolerance to pain. I necessarily don't because I'm not a wicked person. I'm a very kind hearted, gentle spirit person. And so, um, while some people may be like, you know, <laughs> girl who attacking you, it could be the slightest thing that's an attack um, in my perspective. And I'm just saying to everyone, um, be nice, be nice, be kind hearted, be honest with yourself. Don't fall victim to the clout chasing movement. Um, don't be a clout chaser your fucking self at all. Like, just stay away. <laughs> Um, when I say don't fall victim to the cloud chasing movement, I mean that there's going to be people who are going to try to cling on to you so that they can have what you have and they can go where you're going. And they're not going to put in the work that you put in. They're not going to make the sacrifices that you made. And, and if you're okay with, with sharing that with them, despite the fact that they might not value those aspects of who you are and what you stand for at the end, more power to you. But do not fall victim because the devil is lurking. And I say that with the least amount of, like, conspiracy and stuff like that. Like, no, evil is right there all the time. You have to be combating evil 24-7 actively in order to not fall victim to the traps. So that's what my journey is. That's what my goal is. That's what I stand for. And that's what I want to be remembered for and I want to be recognized for and I want to be valued for is that's that girl that don't play that you know what i'm saying she's not here for that drama she's not here for that jealousy she's not here for these conflicts that are confusing um because at the end that just leads to loneliness and it leads to separation and then it leads to bad things bad feelings why why that's not what we're all here for so I do have a higher expectation when it comes to the people that I associate with over the internet simply because if I wanted that, I could just go deal with my family. You know, I could just deal with some of my old friends. Like we are on this journey together to have the privilege and the luxury of circumventing those negative people in our daily lives with positive interactions online. And I think it's important to remember that especially moving forward as we all continue to grow so i love you guys so much this set's almost finished please feel free to dm me at all times um comment down below i've been loving you guys's comments and send some nice wonderful positive prayers for all of your friends and your loved ones uh, even old friends and old loved ones uh, if you truly someone's friend and you truly love someone then that feeling doesn't go away that relationship doesn't just die um, but if it comes between yourself and the next person you need to choose yourself in the fact that you guard your heart okay um sacrificing for others is fine but you have to guard your heart because if you don't have your heart you will look back and see that you've become someone that you don't even recognize that you can't even identify with and that's not a good sacrifice so i love you guys so much i'll talk to you in the next one you guys are going to see the grand reveal and let me know what you think until next time i'll holla y'all peace